What's up guys, Jake Slisman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today I'm showing you what you can do with your Canon XA11 and several other models with your mic on and make it waterproof. Stay tuned. All right guys, so recently I've been trying to find ways to waterproof this setup because as of before that, this right here, our Canon Vixia HF W11 with the Manfrotto action tripod. Now this is a waterproof camera, but as you can tell, being waterproof, there's no mic. So I mean, it gets the job done. Plus when we're running gun in public, this is a great setup. But I've been earning to get this, the main rig waterproof. So I jumped on CampbellCameras.com, started looking at some accessories, and then I found this bad boy right here. This is a pretty slick rig. Oh God, she's windy today. This is a pretty slick rig right here. So it's, it's pretty thick, it's heavy duty, which is what I was worried about. As you can see, it has the top here, it actually supports your mic setup. So it'll go on your camera, which I'll show in a minute, but it'll go on the camera, your mic will set in here. And being a directional mic, what I have, it doesn't change the audio at all, which is what I was extremely worried about. And then this part here, it actually goes over the hood to the lens and you can cinch it down creating a nice tight fit right here it's got the viewing screen you slide it in so you can pop it in and out and if you are going to flip the screen like I have it now to do a POV kind of deal it's kind of a pain because you got to push it in flip it and then bring it back out and you want to be really careful with this it's the one thing I've seen that I didn't quite like I don't trust it too much but when you put your viewing screen on this, it puts a lot of tension down on it. If you don't have this cinch just right, that could be really bad. So that's one thing I can see. Also, the other thing that is pretty sweet. Now we got a remote for our tripod and this right here is made just for that. So there's actually, there's actually Velcro underneath this and all you do is take and of course, I'd have it upside down. Take and put this right on it like that. And then now this, what I'm, what we do is we wrap it around our, our arm with the remote and then wrap it around, rubber banded or zip tie up top and on the bottom, completely sealing off the cable and everything on the remote so therefore it's fully waterproof the other thing i don't quite like it's loud it's really loud and you know that that might just be me but when i'm turkey hunting or when i'm deer hunting i don't want a lot of noise by me i want i want to be as quiet as possible so we're gonna try to kind of break this in a little bit maybe it'll quiet down i don't know i've hunted with it one time but it, it does hold up to the rain, so it does what it's supposed to. But now, I'm gonna switch to the little cam. I'm gonna get this on the camera so I can show you what it looks like. And then down the road, once I really get to testing this, so I can see if that, one, the sound, if it quiets down. Two, if this is a, actually a problem or if it's just me being nervous. And, and just overall review down the road. But let's get her on and I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so the audio is gonna be a lot different on this little bad boy, but this is currently our waterproof setup. So here we go. So this is on, as you can tell, I mean the tri tripod's extended, so it wouldn't look quite like this, but you got the top here, that part cinches over the hood, keeping completely sealed around. So I mean, you can get this wet, it's no big deal. And then you pull this back a little bit. See this distance here is crucial because if it starts to drip down, you're still good. It's not getting on your mic. But also this camo, it helps break up the, ca the cameraman, which is a great thing, especially when you're sitting there trying to make sure you have the shot. One thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna mark this outline. So when you flip it, I'll still be able to see this, but I am going to color this in right here the outside get rid of that glare. I don't like that at all, especially with turkeys. And here's the back. This is how you would view it. 
it's in. You got everything you can do. You use right through the remote, which is right down here. And like I was saying, we take and get this around it completely. It's hard to do this in film. So we wrap it completely around, and then we zip tie the bottom and above to really, I mean, as you can tell, you're keeping the cables good and everything good, and you can still operate the camera just through that. That wrap around there, zip tie it about right here and right about here. That way it's completely waterproof, but this is how it looks on. It's not terrible camo. It will blend in all around, whether it be archery, turkey hunting, waterfowl hunting, whatever you may be going after, but it's a pretty slick setup. I'm not going to lie. So let's switch back to the big cam, close this out. As you can see, that was the waterproof cover. Now this fits several models. I'll put the link to Campbell cameras down in the description, so it'll go right to this product. Now the XA11 is what we film with. It actually isn't even listed on there. The XA10 is, and from what I've gathered when I was researching cameras, they're very similar in size and dimensions. And if you do have an XA11, this will work for your camera. And as you can tell, I mean, it's a secure fit. It's, it's actually heavy duty. And I will come back and do a review on it to see if it quiets down, which I believe it will once you get it broken. Because like I said, we've, we've had it out once. But this is going to be a sweet setup. It's going to allow us to use the big rig for whitetail, waterfowl, and, and turkeys no matter what. But not dissing on this one. But it's just nice having the crisp quality this camera can provide with the mic. So, but yeah, this is just a quick overlook. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not even listed with a name. It just says small camo camera cover, which is right here. It's 70 bucks, but if you're filming your hunts, it's greatly worth it. Especially keeping, I mean, that's a lot of money right there. You want to make sure you protect it. Especially being able to have it out in inclement weather is huge. So, but we'll come back. We'll do an in-depth review on this long term. That'll be probably a little bit closer to archery season. So we can actually test this bad boy out and uh, see what we think. This is Jay Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. You do not want to miss out on any of the Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I can't stress how much that helps the channel grow every thumbs up we get so we try hard to put everything we can into each video hopefully this is helpful to you but that's all i got for this one so hopefully you stay tuned and we'll catch you on the next one